Imagine hopping on board a ship and blasting off into space. And then this happens. I can't believe we're going to be spending a whole eight days here. Months. Days? Months. Wait, what? Well, that's what astronauts Sunita Williams and Barry Wilmore are facing right now. The pair arrived at the ISS back on the 6th of June, expecting to be there for just over a week. But they won't be returning home until around the time you guys go back to school next year. So how did this happen? Well, Sonny and Butch are test pilots for Boeing. You know, the company famous for its planes. And in the past few years, it's been working really hard to become a major player in the space business. Boeing is one of just a couple of private companies that NASA contracted to build craft to get people and supplies to and from the International Space Station. Or as we call it, the, the ISS. ISS. In 2019, Boeing's Starliner capsule had its first flight test. Lift off. And after a few launches without astronauts on board, in May this year, it was ready for its first crewed mission to the ISS with Butch and Sonny. But thanks to problems with the spacecraft, that mission was delayed twice. Then, on June 6th... Three, two, one, ignition. And liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V. There were celebrations. Until... Uh, there's a problem with the spacecraft. Wait, what do you mean by problem? The Starliner has 28 thrusters, which are used to move the spacecraft. But as Sonny and Butch approached the ISS, five of them failed, which caused the craft to start leaking helium. While NASA and Boeing worked on the problem from Earth, Sonny and Butch did what they could in space. This is a test flight. We were expecting to find some things, and so we are finding stuff, and we're, we're correcting it and making changes, making updates with our control team. Eventually, NASA and Boeing decided the Starliner wasn't safe. But luckily, there is another ship that can take them home. SpaceX's Dragon just arrived at the ISS with a crew of four and a couple of spare seats. But the crew won't be leaving for another <laughs> five months. Ugh, that's, a, that's a really, really long time. But luckily, the ISS is set up for long stays. In fact, one astronaut, Dr. Peggy Whitson, has stayed at the station for a total of 665 days. It has six sleeping quarters, a kitted out lab, and a gym, which is important for keeping up the muscle and bone mass, which you can lose in zero gravity. As for food, well, the menu includes more than a hundred items, from vegetables and fruit to pre-prepared meals and desserts that are resupplied every 90 days or so. And the bathroom sitch? Well, astronauts use what's called a vacuum toilet. So you have to have pretty good aim. And the bathroom is full of hand and foot bars, so the astronauts don't drift off in the middle of their business. And fun fact, pee is more than 90% water. And since water is heavy and takes up a lot of space, it is actually better to recycle pee than send water from Earth. Meaning yesterday's coffee is also today's coffee. <laughs> Literally. Sunny and Butch have both spent long periods in space before, so this is nothing new to them. And there's plenty to keep them busy while they're up there, from spacewalks to science experiments. So yeah, they're gonna be okay. Besides, there are plenty of worse places to be stuck than space. I mean, look at that view. <laughs> that one. That one.